Hi, my name is Alex with Tech, Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to teach you how to change the owner of a board. This is a very important thing to do because by default, whenever somebody creates a board, they become the owner of that board. However, if they ever leave your company and you no longer have access to that individual, it becomes very tricky to change the owner of a filter, specifically the one for your board. So if you ever want to make any changes to the criteria of your filter for that board, you basically have to recreate the filter. But today I'm going to teach you a clever way that your site administrator or your administrator can go in and update the owner to reflect somebody that's still employed in your company. Please consider subscribing. It helps the channel tremendously. So if you're not subscribed, you're watching this video and that little red button doesn't say subscribe, make sure you go and hit that subscribe button. It really does help out the channel. And also smash that like button. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Let's jump into Jira. All right, so going into Jira, as I mentioned, you will need to be a site or Jira administrator. And what that basically means is you need to come over here to the top right corner. And if you see Jira settings and system, this is good. We're going to be able to do what we're trying to do. All right. And so, but before we get that far, what you actually want to do is you actually want to know the name of the filter of that board that we're going to change. And so you can go to a board. So pick any board you want, come over to the right hand side and there's the ellipses and then click on board settings. From there, you want to make sure you're in the general tab up here and then come down a little bit. You're not looking for the board name but rather we're looking for the saved filter name, which is going to be whatever's in here. So make sure you just grab this text, memorize it, write it down, copy it, do whatever you got to do, but you want to remember this name. All right. So once you have that information, once you know what we're going to be looking for, now we're going to go to the gear and we're going to go to system from here. We're going to go on the left hand side, scroll all the way down. And then we're going to be looking for shared items and we're looking for filters. Go ahead and click on that. And once you click on that, you can then paste in your filter name and it's going to go and find it. Now this doesn't really work too well. As you can see, it's returning a lot of other boards or filters for me. So just go and look for it, but it did fine tune it a little bit. So go and look for your thing. And I'm going to go to the second page and over here on the second page, you will see that I did now find my filter. Um, that I had pasted in originally. As you can see, here's the owner. In your specific case, this is going to probably show an individual that is no longer with your company. So this is essentially why we want to do this thing. And so you want to swing yourself all the way to the right hand side where you do see the ellipses and then click on it and then change owner. From here, you'll be able to basically select any other individual that should have ownership to this board. Generally, it's going to be the person that submitted a request or is asking for a change of ownership. So that's that tip there. And so just basically change it to whoever needs to be in here. Something else I want to note before we close out this video though, is you can actually search for the owner themselves. So I'm going to clear this out over here. I'm going to remove this query. I'm just going to bring back all the boards. So you see, I have 28. Now I have 34 and this is going to be kind of silly because I'm obviously the right, the only person in my project, but it's a good practice that if somebody left the company, they probably didn't just create one board. They probably created more than one. So if you want to be a little bit more proactive and you essentially want to get ahead of a bunch of requests coming in in the future, go ahead and look up the person that left. And when you look them up, you'll be able to essentially bring back all the boards that they owned. And then in one by one, you still have to go do this one by one, but you can essentially change the owners to somebody else. Maybe you can change it to a site administrator, or you can ask the teams. If you're, if you know the teams that are using these, you can go and ask and figure out if, if they know somebody who should be replacing this individual, but as a safety net, you should at least change it to a site level administrator, just so that if any changes to the criteria or that filter needs to be made, a site administrator should be able to go handle those changes. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope it helps you out. I know this usually causes a lot of headache. Losing somebody is never a good thing, but when they take certain rights or certain permissions that only they can change, um, it becomes a little bit more of a struggle. So I hope that this lessens up the frustration that you have, especially when you, for whatever reason, you want to change the criteria of your board 
and you find yourself not being able to do so without recreating a whole new filter. So I hope that this helps you. This has been really, really helpful. I've done this countless times. A lot of my teams, just because of the turnover and stuff of where I, teams that I work with, um, I find this to be a very handy feature and I hope that it helps you out. If it does, please make sure you let me know in the comments. It helps just to, with the interaction. It helps with getting to know the kind of problems that you've experienced and kind of just helps everybody out in the community. And if you're watching this video and you've gotten this far and you're still not subscribed, please subscribe. It really does help out the channel tremendously. And even more importantly, that like button helps that algorithm a lot as well. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you drop a like. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, if you just want to say, hey, thank you so much. Appreciate those kind of comments as well. Let me know down below. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.